Hi there and welcome back to another Microsoft 365 message center update with me Mark Stokes. Uh, these short videos give you a quick overview on what's changing the Microsoft 365 platform. Uh, these messages are contained in the uh, message center in your own tenant so if you're an admin you can go and read them yourself. Uh, you probably do also get notifications e emails about it but also now you get me telling you about it because let's face it just because you get the emails doesn't mean you read them. So what we're going to talk about today is an update um, recently published by Microsoft uh, all about the Microsoft Office app, uh, which is replacing the um, the independent Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and, and Excel files. Um, so let's just jump in and see what they're saying. Um, so as we can see, the Microsoft Office app is now optimized for iPad. Um, and as mentioned, if your organization is not using iPads, then you can safely disregard this uh, message. However, this release um, is um, going to be bringing together into one unified application uh, the Word, Excel and PowerPoint apps that you know, uh, plus additional tools to keep you more productive than ever. So optimized for iPad OS, users can now also use keyboard, mouse and trackpad to create and collaborate on documents, sign PDFs, jot down notes or create uh, using your camera uh, and more from all from within the unified Office app. So on iPhone and iPad, uh, Microsoft Office is designed to be the go-to app for getting work done. Uh, so this will start to be available to Office Insiders via test flight in early February. Uh, so if you don't use test flight uh, as a way to get um, uh, uh, preview applications, then that's something you can go and look at if you want to. Um, I'll put a link to test flight if I can do uh, to the application um, in the comments. Um, and also it'll be there for general availability in February. So going forward, users will be able to install the Office app. They'll probably have to choose to install it themselves. I don't think the existing apps will automatically update. Uh, Microsoft may or may not put a message in saying that there's a new application available. But at some point, those, un uh, those um, independent um, services will be retired and taken away, I imagine. Um, so note the Microsoft Office app for iPhone is available on the iPad and this release uh, provides uh, the optimized experience for the iPad. So what do you need to prepare? So you can opt into the Office Insiders program for early access uh, to the app for application. Uh, that's useful for administrators. So then you can get some exposure to it, get some screenshots, and then you can pass on the message into your end users of what's going to change and how they can best make use of it. Um, and optionally modify the deployment policies to make sure the app is available to all employees on release. So therefore, if you are, if you have policies in place that automatically uh, configures people's iPads and mobile um, assets, then you can change your policies ahead of time to make sure that the um, app is installed automatically by default um, when it becomes available. Okay, uh, so that's all there is to it, and there's not a lot of information other than that. Um, so um, good luck with that, and I look forward to hearing your feedback on how you get on with the rollout. And, and uh, also interested on what your view is of a unified app for Office that contains all that, that functionality as opposed to independent apps. Personally, at the moment, I prefer independent apps, um, but I'd be interested to see and have a little play with it and see what I think of the unified app. Hopefully it's not too big, not too bulky. Hopefully performance doesn't suffer, um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how they got on with that. So thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.